OpenAI's Sora 2 has been out for a few weeks, and it has been taking the internet by storm. I've been seeing some, honestly, hilarious content from it, from Jesus running on water during the Olympics, to Abraham Lincoln and George Washington fighting out WWE style, to all sorts of just crazy stuff. I haven't made anything that good, but... I have made something that I want to share with you because it really impressed me in the sense that there is just so much nuance that was unsaid in my prompt. Integral of x squared with respect to x equals x cubed over 3 plus a constant, naturally. Where are you at, Newton? Geometry still got it. Now, my prompt for this video was Euclid solving the integral of x squared dx and saying, where are you at, Newton? Now, I admit that's not a very descriptive prompt, but what came out on the other side of that prompt is not too far off from what I envisioned or what I conceptualized that would sort of look like. And I didn't say anything about who is Euclid, who is Newton, where are you at Newton is a joke, and the fact that Euclid is before Newton and he shouldn't be able to solve uh, an integral because calculus wasn't invented yet. There's just so much of this nuance and assumptions that are built into that prompt that I, of course, know as the inventor of that prompt, know sort of what I'm getting at. But I just find it really impressive that an AI model trained on all the text and images and video that is publicly available out there. Maybe I shouldn't be that impressed because it's a lot, but it's just amazing to me how this non-human entity can understand the humor that I had embedded within that, that, you know, pretty silly and stupid joke, if I'm going to be honest. And it's, it's mind boggling to me just, just how much of our existence of human existence can be deciphered through a non-human entity. And I think, Maybe maybe it's not that impressive. Maybe people are like, oh, of course, Kyle, if you train it on terabytes of internet data, of course it'll pick up on all these subtleties and these assumptions. But I think it's just really impressive at the end of the day. I also wanted to share with you a little bit about what I think about Sora 2 and what it implies moving forward. Now, I remember in 2022 or 2023 when those videos of AI-generated Will Smith eating spaghetti were being shown to highlight the flaws of the AI video generation models at the time. And I remember talking to my roommate in grad school at the time and thinking, oh, just give it a few years. It's going to get to the point where we can't tell. And I honestly believed that was going to happen. But now that we're here, basically at the point where you can't distinguish between reality and fantasy... It's pretty disconcerting in some aspect, at least to me, because the fact that I cannot trust a media clip anymore that I just see on the internet, and I can't just trust that that is real or that is that is fake, it makes me feel just a bit uneasy, if I'm going to be honest. I don't really like the idea that I can't tell anymore, but this is just the world that we live in now. I believe that we are going to need some way to verify or validate what is true and what is false and for the record this is all true i'm not ai generated just saying i am i am real i am real this is not sora 2 anyways i know that this wasn't long but i just wanted to share with you some of my thoughts about sora 2 i'm really curious to know what you think if you think this is really amazing this is cool there's going to be great technology innovation products that come from this or is this a really big red flag that uh oh we really need to be worried now for for what is coming next so with that thank you for your time i appreciate you if, if you watched all the way to the end please consider liking and subscribing if you want to see more of this kind of content and i hope you have a wonderful day